Jotform Sign, a smart, simple e-signature solution saving you time and money. To get started in the top left corner, we're going to choose My Forms, then head to My Documents. Next, we'll choose the Create Sign Document. And from here, we can choose to upload our own document, try a demo document, or browse hundreds of Jotform Sign templates. For this example, let's upload our own document. If you have multiple documents that need signing, you can choose to add a new document here. But for this, let's go ahead and create a signable document. From here, we can either choose to manually add our fields to our document, or we can use AI-powered advanced field detection for migrating existing documents. Then at the top, we can either undo those 15 fields or we can keep all. If there are any missing fields, again, we can just drag in what is needed. If we take a quick scroll, we can see everything is highlighted in blue, which in this case is going to be the student signer or signer number one. So we can see at the bottom, we need a second signer or the advisor's name. So we will change these to signer number two or me. We can also click the gear for the properties to edit any of the general settings, options, limits, or advanced settings. Next, let's head up to settings. If we need to change the document title, we can do this here, and we can also change the email settings. So we can see the email subject is your signature is requested for the academic advisor certification form. So let's go ahead and add a message. Next, let's head to the send tab. Here is where we can manage our signers. Signer one for us was the student. So we'll enter their name and their email. If needed, you can also add a passcode for them to utilize and add a message that only they can see. As of right now, if we hit send to sign, both parties will receive the document to sign at the same time. If we want to set up a signing order, all we need to do is click this right here. This means that the student will receive it first, and once it's been signed, the next person in line will get it to verify. If we need to change the order, all we need to do is click on the dots on the left-hand side and move. If we head to the Options tab, we can send automatic reminder emails. We can choose every day, every two days, all the way to seven days. We'll go ahead and choose every two days. If we want to set expiration date, we can do that as well. If we don't want to allow the signer to delegate to another signer, we can turn this one off. And if we need to add any CCs, we can do that here. Before we send, let's head up to preview this document. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see all parties right here. But in the top left-hand corner, if we would like to change the roles and just view a specific signers, we can do that as well. All right, let's head back and send this document. Here's what that notification email looks like. We can see the general message here, please sign ASAP, and then the private message to me specifically, letting me know my passcode. So let's go ahead and review and sign. I'll enter the passcode and validate. Since these fields aren't required, I'm gonna go ahead and skip down to the bottom. We will choose the signature. We can change the style of our signature as well as the color, or we can draw our signature. And next, at any point, any party can choose to decline and there must be something here in order for you to decline. But let's go ahead and let's sign and complete. Accept and send. Perfect. Now, before we head to the advisor's email, let's check out our inbox. Across the top, we have multiple tabs. We have all of our documents. We have ones waiting for my signature, which is the one that we're about to sign. If we're waiting on others, completed, canceled, or even declined. So let's head to the ones waiting for my signature. If the option to send a reminder email is here, it'll be lit in blue, but we can see that we've already sent a reminder email. So let's head to my inbox. So we can see with this, we do have the general message. Please sign ASAP, review and sign document. Then if I scroll down, all I need to do is sign here. Let's sign and complete and accept and send. Now back in my inbox, we can see that I no longer have any documents waiting for my signature, but we can come over to completed and we can see it here. We can also scroll down to the subsequent pages and see the audit trail. We can also download the signed documents 
And we can also come up to the sign inbox up here and jump over to my tables. Your signature collection can now be automated within your forms and it's fully integrated with the PDF editor for document generation, JotForm approvals for approval workflows, and JotForm tables for project management. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about JotForm sign, let us know and we'll see you next time.